Ernest Cockrell, Jr. began his official relationship with the University of Texas half a century ago in 1957 when he became a founding member of the Engineering Foundation Advisory Council, now called the Engineering Advisory Board. He had a vision of what the College of Engineering could become and he set out to make his dream of a first-class engineering program a reality. I asked Carol Curran to tell us about her parents' time at UT and their motivation for setting up a permanent way of supporting the Cockrell School of Engineering. Dad entered the University of Texas when he was 15 years old and five years later he received his Master's of Engineering from the University of Texas. Mom and Dad were introduced to each other by her older sister, Bess Jones, in 1933 when they were juniors at the University of Texas. Their first date was to the Saturday night dance at Gregory Gym. They fell in love and married two years later. So you might say that their love affair with the University of Texas began back in 1933 and continued all their life. Dad was a man of great vision and excellence. He was absolutely passionate about the University of Texas. He did not miss one football game in 20 years. He also never missed any of my high school basketball games. Often he would come to my game and then rush to the airport to fly to wherever the Longhorns were playing. I remember him saying, Carol, I'm going to concentrate my financial giving on the engineering school at the university. It is my belief that over time, as chairs and scholarships are established, that the university will be able to attract some of the best minds in the nation. This in turn will also greatly benefit the state of Texas as well. The first gift was $5,000. Thank you, Carol. Let me tell you about this unique gift. When a university names an academic component, it's almost always in anticipation of a pledge to make a gift in the future. This time it's different. Over a 30-year period, the Cockrell Foundation has given almost $40 million to our School of Engineering. Through investment and matching gifts, the Cockrell Endowment has grown to almost $130 million. With this support, we've become the ninth ranked engineering school in the U.S. out of 364 accredited engineering programs, and we're fifth among the public schools. So we honor the Cockrell family for what they have done for many years to help us build a truly outstanding engineering program. The Cockrell Foundation's charter reserves future annual funding for the school, providing an income stream which is the equivalent of having another $90 million endowment. That brings the impact of the Cockrell Foundation's support to the equivalent of a $220 million endowment. I asked Ernie Cockrell to give us his perspective on the gift that his father and mother structured. It supports our professors with endowed chairs and provides scholarships and fellowships for our outstanding students. My mother and father's motivation for the gift, in my opinion, came from two uh, areas. Uh, one, dad was the first in our family to get a college education, and I think he realized how important that was to him, uh, and he wanted to give something back. So one was giving back uh, from a personal standpoint. The other was trying to build something, and I think he saw in the University of Texas the foundation for really a great university, which it was at that time, and especially in engineering school where he had his education. And through discussions with people like Johnny McKetta and the found, founding of the, what was then the Engineering Foundation Advisory Council, he understood the importance of private giving and the partnership between private and public giving uh, at public universities for excellence. He also believed in the necessity for attracting great students to a university, which in turn attract, attracted uh, fine professors and vice versa. And that relationship he wanted to promote. 
So through the endowment for the scholarships, he was providing the means in order to attract the top students to the University College of Engineering. And on the mirror side of that was the endowment for the professoral chairs, which helped to attract uh, great professors to the, the University of Texas. And then with the two, you had outstanding professors, outstanding students. We're not so much interested in works as we are building character and a legacy of character rather than a legacy of works. At the School of Engineering, I think it's also applicable in what uh, uh, Dean Streetman has had to pass on about ethics and accountability and, and uh, excellence is all about building competency and building legacies of character. That's what education is about building stable and competent citizens.